New rules are out about how employers should handle COVID-19 vaccines. Let's bring in Andy Challenger of Challenger Grand Christmas. This is a hot topic. Yeah, maybe the biggest topic right now among employers and employees is whether or not the COVID-19 vaccine can be mandated amongst an entire work population. Uh, it's a controversial topic. There's plenty of people that would uh, like to know all their coworkers are vaccinated before they come back to the office, while there's others that are reticent to take the shot. Uh, there is some precedent. Uh, hospitals and other healthcare related companies have in the past mandated flu vaccine amongst all of their employees uh, with certain caveats under the uh, EEOC protections for people with disabilities, uh, people with strongly held religious beliefs or pregnant women that allows them to avoid taking the shot. What are the new guidelines? The EEOC has issued guidance on the COVID-19 vaccine, and it seems that they're saying you can mandate it as an employer, uh, but you have to be careful about how much medical information you're requesting from employees. In most cases, I think companies are going to use a third party to administer the vaccine, and then the company just gets a confirmation whether or not each individual employee has been vaccinated. Do you think most employers will stand firm that employees need that vaccine? At the end of the day, most employers are probably going to strongly encourage taking the vaccine as opposed to mandating it uh, because it is so controversial. Uh, you're going to see a lot of employers use liability release waivers uh, that they ask all of their employees to sign before they come into the office to prevent against any litigation if there is an outbreak in the workplace. Uh, and then you're seeing a handful of employers uh, with frontline workers already starting to offer incentives, uh, Aldi, Dollar General, uh, Trader Joe's, all offering four hours of paid leave uh, to any employee that goes and takes the vaccine. Thank you, Andy, for the update. Thanks for having me, Angie. For more Business First AM, check us out on social media. We're on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter, and go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.